Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is an update to the April 2019 update. So it's uh, becoming more obvious that uh, fixes will be done through cumulative updates for those that have problems. Um, so of course this is my uh, day three of using the April 2019 update. It's been working quite well and um, with a little bit of like you know a few glitches that I told you about but uh, you know mostly what is probably the bizarre thing that's happening to me is mostly the slower um, startup time it takes more time to actually boot up when I start my PC but it in general works still quite well now um, the um, some people have asked me, you know, is it time to upgrade uh, for me? And uh, especially if you're a gamer, a lot of you have been saying, well, you know, is there still that uh, problem with the anti-cheat software? Well, the blue screen, green screen, or the bug check problem with the gaming uh, software for anti-cheat is now apparently fixed with pretty much every software. Uh, the problem wasn't in Windows. It was an update that had to be done with the software for anti-cheat. So that mean that means it's an update for your games that is actually um, making this problem go away. Now Microsoft has issued this morning a uh, message saying that um, f the block that those on the insiders had about eighteen three six two four gaming is now lifted that means that any gamers like you know if you one of the the games that bug checked for the tight sheet was uh, fortnite and um, now it's fixed so it, they are actually releasing it so if you're a gamer and absolutely wanted to update to this april 2019 update well they did fix the uh the problem now for the rest, um, you know, it's uh, I, I still don't think anybody should force this. It's not something that you should and would absolutely need to have, but it will show up at some point. It kind of tells us also that 18.3.6.2 is officially the build, so um, we are at RTM, and um, no release of builds and uh, except for skip ahead shows us that this is the April 2019 update. We'll continue of course uh, doing videos and explaining some of the new features. Uh, this is pretty much how I'm going to do my look and, and kind of a review of April 2019 update. It will come in the form of videos showing you some of the new features. Lots more coming up of course on this channel so if you're interested in understanding and knowing what we have on this uh, build uh, new or new version of Windows. Well, you'll see it. We still have no date, official date for the um, release of the April 2019 update, but in the next uh, few weeks, probably as will be April 1st on Monday, uh, time really flies, and of course uh, that will be the time when uh, we're going to look at uh, when April 2019 update is released. Um, there's no major issues or anything right now that are kind of reported uh, the major problem mostly for some of you is the install that doesn't work and they know about it and it's apparently a bug from an older or an earlier build that actually created that problem for this update so they're um, you know checking that out and of course um, possibly will be uh, the thing but hang on you know don't don't rush anything uh, the media creation tool will be updated when it's released in April and um, my general um, recommendations here is really to hold on and uh, wait for it to arrive naturally through Windows Update. Don't force it in any way. Just wait when the day arrives that it will be there. And of course, we learned this week that a lot of you will simply jump over the October 2018 update. So, uh, you know, we'll go directly here and uh, that probably is okay there's you know no problem there and um, I think Microsoft is understanding that yeah, okay let's let's just you know move on and push to this new version uh, rather than uh, go and uh, you know rush everything to everybody of the October 2018 update 
for the rest I've not had any crashes or freezes so this is good news at least even though the slow um, startup time for Windows 10 and um, basically it seems to be rolling out well you know the only problem I see like I, I, I tell you is um, some people have problems upgrading um, and some are stuck in the boot loop but if you remove that problem which is like I said due to an earlier build um, the rollout for pretty much everybody that are pushing it seems to go quite well right now of course we'll see it even more in detail when it's released officially to everybody if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching